look forward to my time at the senior center. Uh, the camaraderie, being able to pick and choose things that I like to do, um, be able to um, stimulate my creative ability, and uh, give me something to do other than uh, once I stop working to uh, make myself feel more productive. Um, it, it brings the old people out of their homes and, and they get to know each other and it, it's done wonders for me. Uh, I believe it would be the camaraderie of getting together with people to do things. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been coming for three, three or four years on a regular basis. Uh, painting classes, I've made new friends and you know, this is the only place that we'd uh, be able to get together and meet each other. Last year alone, there were over 7,000 visits here to the different programs here at the Senior Center. So it's not just, you know, a handful of, you know, five or ten people for lunch and, you know, ten people for an exercise class. People really took advantage of all the classes. I'm here at least twice a week for exercise and then I volunteer to like do the newsletter that we're doing today and if they need help with a program, I'm available. And I attended the Age Mastery program that was put on twice a week in this uh, senior center. And it was wonderful because it gave us a whole variety of things from planning um, our finances and planning our life uh, resources, planning everyday things that we do. And I thought it was a wonderful overall program for people. It gave us a nutrition portion. Um, it was, I, I just liked that particular program very, very much. And also it makes my wife very happy. She comes down and participates in half a dozen different programs. Mm -hmm. Oh, my favorite part about the Senior Center is that um, they have various exercises and like today they had that wonderful dance class. That would be such a good ad addition. Well, I, I like exercise classes, and I've also taken um, a program called uh, Mastery of Aging. Okay, I have participated in the balance class when they had that. I have participated in the Aging Mastery program when, when they had that, which is, that was a, a good month program. And then you graduated at the end, and you got a certificate for your participation. Um, Oh, they have a walk in the uh, springtime that the state uh, backs, and uh, so you just sign up and you walk around the track, the high school track, and uh, you do a mile, but most people do over a mile because they want to stay active. <laughs> they do flowers. Um, there's bingo here. There's dominoes here. There's painting classes, there's computer classes, there's photography classes, there's pool, there's um, a lawyer that comes down once a month to help seniors with any type of problems that they have or need help. Um, basically I come in once a month uh, for you know anywhere from two to three hours and uh, basically I meet with any patrons of the senior center that might have uh, legal issues that they want to address. Um, so basically I give uh, each person I meet with about a, a 30 minute free consultation um, where they can address any, any legal or financial issues that they currently have going on in their life. I um, volunteer to run the knitting group and we basically just sit and interact with one another while we happen to be doing handcrafts. So it's more about the connection than actually the skill. Oh, it's hard to say I like them all. The exercise, the fitness class, the yoga, the meditation. This one today looks fabulous. There's a nurse that comes in every month to check their blood pressure to monitor them and make sure that everything is okay. I, um, I do uh, go to the blood pressure uh, clinic. It's the beginning of every month, and it, it helps me keep track of whether I'm doing the right thing or not for my health. <laughs> And the uh, nurse that comes also asks some other questions about health so that she 
tries to keep you on on a good schedule as far as uh, taking care of yourself? Well, it keeps me out of the hospital. <laughs> it keeps my bones healthy. It keeps my mind healthy. I think if you exercise and keep active, it's better for your overall general health. And that's why I keep as active as I am. New Adventure Club, they go to concerts. We went to one over in Marlboro Library at Christmas time. Very nice concert. Uh, it was all um, horns, different horns. And uh, that was free, and it was really a beautiful concert. So that, plus we went for a talk over at uh, Worcester's, no, it was Clark University. Um, and then after the talk, we went to lunch at a pizza place. So, you know, it's all, it's all very nice. It's just meant to be fun and get you involved. Um, I volunteer here with the uh, Meals on Wheels in preparation for people that need to have meals delivered to them at home. And then we serve meals here. Too. It definitely puts a smile on everyone's face that we go and deliver to. And we've definitely gotten closer to some of the families that we deliver to that look forward to us coming every single week. Just seeing the interaction of the individuals, it's extremely important that our seniors stay active. And we have a lot of seniors that are at home by themselves, have very little interaction with other people, and it's p important for them to come down. They form they form bonds with each other and, and um, camaraderie. And when you're young and you think, oh, West Wilson has a senior center, and I was guilty of this when my kids were little, and you say, oh yeah, well they do arts and crafts and they do meals. The senior center is so much more than that. Um, they have classes and programs that address the whole person, spiritually, mentally, physically. It means more than doing the painting or the uh, quilting or things like that. Mm -hmm. It means getting, getting out of the house and getting to uh, be with other people. Um, you know, I worked in the health care for 40 years, and, um, you know, I've seen what happens to people that just stay at home and don't do anything. You know, the depression is overwhelming, and we need to counteract that, and we need to support them, and they need to form friendships and bonds and, and feel loved and feel like they're still a, an active part of the community, because they do give back. I don't have many other places I can go, quite frankly, to socialize with a bunch of people. I'm far older than the local bar scene, and I'm not quite ready for the geriatric ward at this nursing home. So coming down here, I'm meeting people of similar uh, age circumstance. Um, so I feel like uh, a lot of the times, um, you know, f folks are just appreciative that they have somebody to talk to because um, they feel, you know, sometimes that they have nowhere else to go and they don't know who to call or where to start. Um, so I think, um, you know, the service that Lisa has asked me to provide here at the Senior Center, I think it benefits the patrons that take advantage of it. And um, I think that with the up and coming generation that they're realizing that people are living longer. And in order to live longer, we need to have a productive life and an active life. Because if you stay home and you're isolated, people get depressed. People have health issues. They don't move around. You come here and you come to the exercise programs, you move. And just seeing the people get out and interact with one another, it just seems so much more valuable. Um, one of the women who knits with me, otherwise she would be home and by herself. And you know, it's the companionship, getting out of the house, meeting new people and having a good time while doing it. And uh, in other way, there's other ways that uh, it benefits family because uh, many uh, family members that are out of town, uh, at least they know that we have something active that we can do. I think our children are very happy that it keeps us occupied. I mean, when you get to be 80, 
as little else you can do. Well, they know what I'm doing. They know I'm involved in their throat. They, you know, they're not that concerned if they call. I don't answer the phone. I'll call when I get home. And nine out of ten times, it's well. It's a fitness class. How are you doing? You know, or I was at yoga. Grace's exercise class. Yeah, I would love to see a new senior center with windows. <laughs> and the ability to uh, expand our services to people within the community that um, need them and offer programs that uh, maybe we are limited to because of a lack of space. Well, I think the Veterans Recognition Day is wonderful, and that is oversubscribed. The building is full. They can't fit any more in. And coming up in a couple of weeks, I think it is, we're going to have an entertainer in here uh, who's singing songs of the 50s and 60s, which is our era. And that is already oversubscribed. There's a waiting list of I don't know how big it is. I'll bet it's about 20 names. We can only fit 49 people in the building. And a lot of people that come here and support the Senior Center have lived in town here most of their lives. Um, they've raised their children, like I did. I've been here over 40 years. Um, I supported the schools when my kids were in school. I supported the parks program when my kids and the sports program. And I supported the town hall when we needed it because we were in need for it. And of course the police station was in shambles and they really needed it. And I supported that. And I think that people really need to take a hard look and say, now it's the time for the seniors to get what they need.